Hi everyone and welcome to my updated workstation tour video. Now it's not long since I actually did a workstation tour but as you can see I've got a whole new desk, a whole new setup and a lot of my Instagram followers were requesting that I do an updated video. So it gives you a chance to see all of the materials that I use, find out what's in every single drawer and just be nosy basically. I'm really nosy myself so I expect everyone else to be um, and I love seeing other people set up so I hope that you like looking at mine. Now firstly as you can see it's actually located in my dining room which is just off of my living room. So I don't have an awful lot of space which is why I tried to keep the desk and the area quite streamlined along the back wall of the dining room. Now I used to have my computer set up here and I would actually do my colouring um, on this part. So the monitor would be there and the colouring and the reviews would be there and that's literally all the space that I had. I've now moved that desk over here as you can see with the computer on it because then my family or whoever wants to go on the computer they can do that whilst I'm still working over this side. So it's a lot more versatile for family use. So I'm just gonna start going through everything really. Um, this long cabinet along this side was part of the computer desk, but I've kept it just for extra storage. Now these drawers haven't been sorted out properly yet. Um, so there are still things that probably need to be put in other places, but as you can see, I've got all my Spectrum Noir tutorial DVDs. I've got some spare nibs, some spare pens, um, ink cartridges and things like that. So it's a little bit of a catch-all drawer. This second one is all card making things. So mainly different papers for card making um, and also some card templates as well from Spectrum Noir. And the bottom drawer is literally just paperwork and uh, personal stuff. So there's no point really me showing you that. This one here is another bit of a catch-all. Um, it's got my colour wheel, which I often reference. We've got a bit of scratch paper, another colour wheel there. We've got um, the bin for catching all of the shavings and we've got some bubble wrap in there as well. So just things that I need on hand at the moment. This one up here is full of books that are needing to be reviewed or ones that I'm working on at the moment. This area up here is dedicated to my Nana. Now, if you watched the last video or you've watched a few of my videos, you'll have probably heard me explain that me and my Nana were really, really close. She passed away in 2014 and this is just my little corner. This teddy is actually made out of her clothes and her favorite color was lilac. So it's, it's I love it, it still smells of her even after all this time. Um, and she was Italian, she was from Trieste, and I was drawn to this book. As soon as I walked in the charity shop, I was drawn over to the shelf where this little tiny book about Trieste was. And it was just one of those really amazing sort of experiences that I know she was. She had a hand in that. And this was a coffee grinder that I used to play with at her house when I was little, and it just reminds me of her. So that's me and her on the picture. So up here I have things again that I'm working on at the moment, so Ivy and the Inky Butterfly for the colour along and this beautiful book that I just received through the post as a gift from my Amazon wish list um, from one of my followers called Susan Howard. So thank you Susan if you're watching, I will be doing a proper review and thank you for that soon. Up here in these little desk pots are things that I use less regularly, so I have all of my Spectrum Noir colour blend pencils, <coughs> excuse me, Spectrum Noir Aqua Blend, Spectrum Noir Colorista, and some spare Tombows there at the back. Finally, my Jelly Roll collection. So I don't use them an awful lot, but I like to keep them out in case I just need a specific shade of green or whatever colour. I've got a pencil there handy. Now these little sections here hold my pencil cases. And again, I like to keep these handy and easy to grab so that I don't have to go rooting through drawers. This is the Derwent Ink Tents one, 72 set of those. This is the 150 set of Prismacolor, I had to think then. So they're the ones that I use probably the most. Just put that back. It's really difficult to do this with one hand. Uh, this is my swatch book. So I've basically swatched out all of my different pens, well pencils mainly at the moment, I haven't done too many pens in here. Um, 
and swatched it out so I can easily grab it and see exactly what shade I need and exactly what pencil set they're in. So it's just a little bit of organization. Over here we have uh, polychromos. So this is a set of 120 and this attached to it is the swatch chart that I made on a tutorial on my YouTube channel. So if you wanna make one yourself, you can go and check that out. This next one is huge and very heavy and it's full of all my Statler stuff. So Ergosoft, pencils, Triplus pens, broad liners and the fiber tip pens as well. And then this one is my 150 set of Holbein pencils. So there we go. <laughs> I keep all of these handy and easy to grab as I said. Up here also I've got my circle and oval templates and also the honeycomb stencil that I used for the Johanna Basford collaboration colour along. I'll just pop those back. Okay, so down here, I, I've actually stripped all of these off because I had loads of different postcards and things, but I'm going to clean that off and put some new artwork up. Um, I've got a couple of paperweights. I've got a piece of artwork from um, Amanda Rambo. I have my electric pencil sharpener. And then I have all of my little horror Lego people set up down here. Absolutely love them. You should know by now that I love horror. Uh, need to sort the wallpaper out. It's all been torn off. Uh, I'll probably just put some artwork there to hide it, to be honest. Down here, I've got a quick grab pen pot. So actual real writing pens in there because um, I can never seem to find one. I also have the Spectrum Noir art liners. So they're like pigment liners. And I also have some pencils and an eraser in there. Uh, this artwork here is again Amanda Rambo. Absolutely love her gem. She is amazing. Under here, I have a light. I'm not sure how the batteries are at the moment. Yeah, they're pretty good. An LED light just to shine when I'm doing my reviews because this is my background for my reviews. I do actually want to get a couple more big ones to go across the length of the desk because as much as I love the white, it does mark really, really easily. So I need to get a few more of those mats. So across here is, first of all, my Tombows. So this is a set of 96. We then have the Spectrum Noir alcohol marker system in this first set of trays. And there is, I think, 216 pens in each set. Next to that is the Spectrum Noir illustrator pens. Exactly the same colours all along the board. They're just different nibs. And then the Spectrum Noir graphic pens. We then have the Spectrum Noir uh, aqua pens at the top here. Then the Colorista markers. Then I've got some Eco Line pens and then the Spectrum Noir Sparkle pens and the Spectrum Noir Metallic pens. Here I've got some spare boxes of the Spectrum Noir Sparkle pens and then in this set I have all of my Uni Posca pens which I use to decorate rocks. So that is everything that's on the desk and that can be seen and grabbed straight away. Now I'm gonna go through all of the drawers. So this top drawer is for all the things that I need to be kept handy at all times. So I've got sharpeners, rubbers, a stapler, some glue, some sellotape. I've got my blending solutions here. I've got a tape measure. I've got some notebooks there. Right at the back of the drawer, I have a letter, a label writer, sorry. And I've got some business cards that get sent out with all my giveaways and some spare scratch paper cards. Here we've got some glue, some spare staples, some eraser refills. And yeah, I think that's that video, uh, that draw, sorry. That there is for uh, macro shots. And the second draw is all of the pen sets that I have in actual sets that aren't in you know, in pots or in any kind of case or anything. So I've got the Vibrant Jungle Watercolour brush pens. I've got some Tombow Twin Tone markers, which I haven't reviewed yet. They're on the list to review. This is a fountain pen. I've got some mild liners. Again, mild liners in a packet here. These are the Windsor and Newton 
uh, watercolour markers. At the back, there's some distress crayons and some permanent pens as well. So anything that's like pens goes in here. Third drawer is pencil sets. So again, things that aren't really needed often, but I have to um, keep them somewhere and keep them in their tins and nice and clean. So we've got some Crayolas at the back. That's the 100 set. There's some Tombow Erogitans. These are spare polychromo pencils. The Spectrum Noir Colour Tint pencils. Then have the three sets of Black Widow and the Prismacolor Premier spares that I've got. And then under there is the Ergosoft Aquarelle. And in this little case here is the 72 set of Marco Ruffin. So this is all about pencils, this drawer. So I know that if I ever need any pencil sets, I go in here. Um, the next drawer is all about pastels. So anything pastel -y. I've got the ink blocks, dough and ink tents. I've got the Caran d'Ache Neo Colours. I've got the 30 set and the four extra neons. Under there, I've got some oil pastels that I've not even opened yet. I've got no clue how to use them, actually. And then under here is the Prismacolor New Pastel set of 36 that Claire Holloway swapped with me. I then have a whole bunch of pan pastels and some pastel fixative. I've just bought that. I've not tested it yet. I have some cotton buds for applying the pastels. And right at the back here are all bits of sponges and things. Again, applicators for the pastels. bottom drawer this is all about stamping so I've got a lot of stamps in this tin at the back you can just about see them rubber stamps I've got glues mod podge um, different stamping things things that you stamp with rocker blocks that's it uh, I've got a corner rounder thingy I've got some inks different types of stamping inks I've got some pin badge backs uh, that's got nothing in it. <laughs> I've got some dyes, I've got some super glue, I've got some shrink, frosted shrinking paper thing. I'm not even sure what it is. <laughs> um, I've got some stick and spray so that the temp, the um, what do you call them, the stamps stick to the stamping thing. Um, and I've got some punches as well. So very eloquently explained there. Let's move across to the other set of drawers. So in this very top one, I have all of my washi tapes and ribbons, and there's also some stickers and things underneath there. These are my drawings that I did. Um, I think you probably have seen them on my Instagram if you follow me on there. These are horror icons in a manga chibi style. And I did these following tutorials on YouTube. So if you like horror like me, you'll probably appreciate these. If not, then you won't. <laughs> um, so yeah, lots of other stickers and things in there. And the second drawer has got nothing in it at the moment. It's literally just got this tray ready to separate whatever I decide to put in there. The third drawer is my paint drawer. So I have some packs of paint sticks. I've got this little section of paint brushes and things in the back there. I've got some Ganzai Tambi Pearl Starry and Gem Colours which have yet to be reviewed. I also have my set of fine tech paints there. I've got loads of tubes of acrylic paint that I used to use for painting rocks before I started using the Posca pens and under all of that there is a case of watercolour paints as well. Second to last drawer is Lots of different um, ephemera and bits and bobs that you would put in journals or smash books. Me and my kids are doing a smash book at the moment. So it's all just bits of stickers and, and labels and just stuff that you would put, you know, in a smash book. So I've got loads of stuff like that. And then finally in the bottom drawer, I have my camera, camera case, 
a very old guillotine and under that a paper scorer. So if you're making cards and you need to score a line down it, that purple thing will do that for you. Um, whoops. Now just under here <laughs> is uh, my waste paper bin and then my son's homework, uh, homework trays, whatever. So he puts all of his books and homework in there for school and basically that is it so this is where I'm going to be doing all of my reviews from now on I need to get some lighting under there I do have that little um that little light that I showed you did I show you that I can't think remember if I did um this is just a battery operated led light that I really could do with um some better lighting under there so if you have any suggestions of what lighting I can use I do have a plug there um please do let me know and that's it so back to the computer where i'll now upload this video and i really hope you've enjoyed seeing where i work where i do my uh my hobby from and yeah so thanks very very much for watching and i'll see you soon on color with claire